Now that the next generation AirPods Pros 2 have been out on the market for quite some time now, manufacturers have been producing accessories and cases for these amazing AirPods. And so in today's video, I actually went ahead and took the liberty of purchasing all the best seller AirPod cases available for the AirPods Pro 2, put them in a couple of tests to see which one will offer the best protection the best wire resistant and best overall slim minimalistic look. And so today's you, video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the comparison of all the Amazon best-selling cases available for the AirPods Pro 2. Let's go ahead and begin. So Apple AirPods, in the past, they were always known to be somewhat wire resistant, but this is the first time where the case itself and the earbuds are rated IPX4. So they're pretty resistant themselves aside from scratch marks and stuff like that, that will be the reason why you may want to consider getting a nice case. So the first case I have here has over 700 reviews, comes available in a variety of different color choices to choose from, and is currently on sale for just $10. Now the carabiner is included, and on the website they specify this to be available for the second generation AirPods Pro 2 case, and I like the fact that it actually uses like an adhesive on the top portion of the lid which is somewhat challenging to remove. There we go, so now it's off and it simply just attaches on the top portion of the AirPod case, just like so. I like the fact that you have this little side attachment with the carabiner included. So if you like to clip this on your backpack and something like that, you have that freedom. However, I did notice, even though they specify this work on the second generation, there's no opening for the speaker cutout. So that's a shame. And it's something to definitely consider, but it does have a pass through for the LED light and the button on the back here is easy to access. So you can easily pair your device. And from my firsthand experience, uh, there's no interference with the lid whatsoever. Even the back, back button right here is easy to access whenever you need to have access to it. Now this does came with like a stand, this plastic bit, super interesting. I didn't know what it was, but it's supposed to help keep this case flat like this aside from that this is the result from the drop test so from about a five foot eight drop and your bud did came off if we play the slow motion you can see from here because of that i'm going to end the results the testing from here because anything more will damage my only pair of airpods pros that i have on hands so moving along now this next case has over 200 positive reviews and this one actually is also in the description being designed and made for the second generation AirPods Pros. And this one actually has a unique lock-in mechanism which also has 3N adhesive on the inside top lid. And it does also include this little ring so you could quickly attach to your backpack and such just like the previous one. This one has this design which I don't mind. Easier to carry around one, especially when you put it in your pocket. And yes, it does indeed have the cutouts on the bottom for the AirPods Pro 2 case. So this one truly is designed for the second generation AirPods Pro. And putting it all together, it's extremely easy. As soon as you peel off the 3 in adhesive, it just goes into play. And once everything's connected, everything is nice and sealed. I like the fact that you have an access port right here to the rear button so you can easily pair your device when you need to. And the lock does is a real lock, which does require you to use your fingernail to actually move this little locking mechanism up. And it just holds together magnetically. And if you don't do that, it's really challenging to actually open it up this way. So not bad, does a great job, and feels extremely rugged. Now let's go ahead and go to the testing portion. So making sure everything is properly secure, same head height drop tests in three, two, one. This one did an impressive job. So good, in fact, that the lid stayed sealed. So I was confident enough to go to this two-story drop test. And unfortunately, it all fell apart. It looked like the silicone body that it has just flex enough that the latch doesn't really do anything. So it's a no pass for a two-story drop. So aside from that, for casual drops, it should be perfectly fine. But for everything else, the only thing it has going for it is the unique texture. Now this next one, this is from Subcase and it retails for about $18. And it comes available in black, blue, dark green, red even. The one we have here is the black one. And 
Mm, I do like this carabiner design that they include. It's unique to their product, which I don't mind. It even follows the carbon fiber trim piece that it has going for. Aside from that, it's no different than any other carabiner. And taking this thing out of its package, package nice and wrapped. I do like the fact that it does have a cool like midnight gunmetal look to it with some carbon fiber weave. And this portion just came off, but this is the adhesive that it does indeed have. It did indeed have a cutout for the speaker portion, just not the lavender part. And the LED light does line up properly. So yeah, this is this is actually designed for the uh, second generation AirPods Pro. And once it's all connected, there's no fitting issues that I see or feel. Everything works perfectly fine. Just you do lose access to the back button. That's the thing I've noticed. Aside from that, it does have nice scratch resistance. So let's go ahead and take it to the drop test. Now commenting drop test, same head height. This one, surprisingly, did pretty well as both earbuds stayed intact and stayed in place even during the drop test, even though the lid did open up. But it's good and safe to say I'm gonna go ahead and test it on a two-story drop. So the case stayed intact, although it did open up and release two of our earbuds on the ground. So I'll say it's in the middle. It's not moving on to the next test. So that's the unicorn beetle from a head drop. Should do fine. Two story drop, it's questionable. Now the next one is a waterproof case. And it's pretty simple. This actually comes available in black, red, purple, and yellow. And it retails for 18 or 19 dollars it's actually the most expensive one and it's pretty basic there's no open speaker ports down here and then carabiner is indeed included which is quite nice which just goes in on here now i had similar cases like this in the past i don't recommend using the carabiner because over time it will rip off from my experience with like three of these and you simply just slide your airpods in like so and this part is water sealed, so this allows to have the waterproof capability, even though it's extremely hard to get it in. But once you have it in, if you wirelessly charge your device, you don't have to actually fiddle with this ever. Now, the only con with this case is that it is challenging to actually have access to your AirPods that you constantly have to like fiddle with that uh, awkward opening. Now, this is a silicone body, so I feel pretty confident on the head drop height drop test and the two-story drop test and yeah the results everything stayed intact and for this two-story drop test yeah even in slow motion this thing was a tank so this one actually moves on to the water resistant test and that is the water cycle so since it's all silicone, it's tight and such, realistically, it should do well. So I put it inside a pair of shorts inside the pocket because this is typically how people forget to remove the AirPods out of their pockets before they actually put it in the washer. And after one cycle, uh, once everything was done, unfortunately, water did leak in. But it didn't ruin the AirPods Pro because it is water resistant, as I previously stated. So it doesn't do a good job in being water resistant but I'm pretty sure it helped in some way. So it's not that great, but it is still the best performing case that we tested so far. Now this next one would be your standard silicone style case. I'll link this one in the description. It's fairly affordable and also is designed for the AirPods Pro 2 case. So it does have those cutouts, which is excellent. And it comes available in black, midnight, pink, and obviously the one we have here is red. It does have an adhesive, which is new. Normally these type of silicone ones don't have that. So I really do like that this one actually has that ability. And underneath here, the lightning port, as you just witnessed, is sealed. And putting it all together, everything is perfect, actually. All the lightnings, all the openings, all line up perfectly. An issue that I face with silicone cases like this, you even have access to this little side lanyard, which they do include a lanyard if you like to use it super easy access so let's go ahead and move on to the drop test first first one went like this and to my surprise somehow it survived i think it has to do with the adhesive part on top because this gets an approval to move on to this next drop test and the results are days 
surprisingly only one earbud came out and the case itself all stayed intact really surprising but there's no way this goes on to the washer test but from those results these are actually surprisingly good moving along now this is another silicone one but this one has a thicker layer and it's the nintendo switch this thing is just for cosmetic purposes to be honest they do provide a lanyard and a carabiner so you have the options to choose either or there is the opening on the bottom for the airpods pro 2 case and it simply just slides in like so and uh looks really nice opens up just fine although it does block the led light and the back light the back button you can still press but it's not fully exposed as you see right here you need to lift this portion up if you need to see what mode the airpods are in i like the fact that the buttons and even the switch logo pops up and the joystick also has like a little divot as well so it's like three d three dimensional feeling aside from that let's go ahead and drop this bad boy and it failed both of them as both earbuds just flew out so yeah this is not moving on now the second to last one this also is a unique different one because this one actually has a lock-in mechanism very similar to like the black one we previously showed you this one retails for about eleven dollars comes available in blue black green red and yellow and it does come with that weird stand just like the uh, previous case which is interesting the top lid portion does also have a thread adhesive which you could peel to remove to easily attach the airpod to and the locking mechanism it does require force to actually like move this little lever upwards to actually release lines up perfectly with the bottom speakers and does include a carabiner as well so placing this on, make sure it all fits in place. Again, the alignment, perfect. Not once have I experienced seeing any AirPod case with alignment issues. This used to be a common issue, but once it's locked, it's locked. You do have to push down to actually release it. And I love the fact you do have access to the rear button when you need to. So appearance wise, not bad. The locking mechanism seems to work. Now let's go ahead and do the drop test on this thing. So from a head height, it did a great job the latch mechanism did a really good job making sure it stayed shut even during the hard impact fall so it passes the two-story fall however was kind of hilarious as it literally exploded on impact so bad that it actually went underneath the door so for two-story drops i give it a massive thumbs down it exploded. now this last one is my personal favorite because its texture is super unique it literally feels like a stone the color we have here is their standstone but they have marine green and white it retails for 19 dollars and fits perfect with the airpods pro 2 case everything lines up properly correct the lid is super satisfying to open and close and can definitely handle like small impact drops like you just witnessed. But now for the head drop height test, these are the results. It didn't do well. The case itself came off and off the camera, it did launch a AirPod. So it's a no. And if you think we're not gonna do a control, I am gonna do a drop test with just the AirPod case by itself so you understand how good a case would be so as a result both earbuds flew out and the case was wide open and i'm pretty sure over time a higher impact fall will cause the case to easily crack so i do not recommend so sorry for being an ipx4 wire resistant rating i don't recommend going bare so with that said the most tough airpod case for your airpods pro 2 is the silicone one as to make sure your AirPods were never thrown out the case. And the silicone had a nice shock resistant to the body of the AirPods to make sure it doesn't get damaged or anything like that. And can do an okay job in the washer in case you forget. And there we have it folks. Hope you enjoyed. Link to all these cases will all of course be linked in the video description down below. Aside from that, if you want to know what my review and thoughts is like comparing the AirPods Pro 1 against the AirPods Pro 2, you can go ahead and check out that video comparison right over there. Then the video next to that one, that's this video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.